I was 23 years old. I just started graduate school and the world was literally at my fingertips. It was a little after 10 o'clock and I started walking to my car. There were two women kind of walking towards me down the street and one of them asked for directions to Dempster. She said, hey, can you give my sister directions to Dempster? And I thought, hmm, something's just off. When I saw these two women approaching me, asking me for directions at a very strange time of night, I knew that something was wrong. Immediately, I took off running towards my car. As I got to my car, they caught up to me. And the one woman, she had the gun and she was trying to get it into the door of the car while I was trying to close it. And she eventually got the gun in the door and she put the gun in my face. She said, do it again, bitch, and I'll shoot you. And in that moment, I put my hands up in the air and I said, you know, take my purse, take my keys, whatever you want. And I immediately felt a splash to my face, just poosh. And you can see exactly where she splashed me in the face and it burned so horribly that I couldn't function, I couldn't think. And then I felt another splash to my stomach. She just kind of looked at me with hollow eyes didn't do anything, there was like no reaction. Part of me was thinking like either they, they were so sadistic that they wanted to watch me suffer or they weren't really sure of the power of what they'd just done. I remember waking up and you know, things were very quiet and white and warm. And I'd honestly thought that I'd died. And I remember seeing a nurse, she was black. And I asked her, I'm like, am I, am I dead? Am I in heaven? She's like, no, baby, you're not. From the acid, I suffered third degree full thickness burns to 30% of my body. I've had over a dozen surgeries. The person that I knew for 23 years was not the same person. and. I didn't even recognize myself in the mirror. There was a theory that my boyfriend at the time was involved in some illegal activity in the streets. The police believed that whatever he was doing in the streets, he must have upset someone. And those people retaliated then against me. The one who threw the acid on me, Nicole, she was charged with two counts of heinous battery. There was a point in time where all I could think about was doing bad things to this woman and wishing evil on her and, you know, just wanting her life to be like mine, like an eye for an eye. The first time I saw Nicole in court was kind of jarring, but after spending more time in the courtroom and seeing her family, seeing her, her daughter, um, made me see her more as a person. I had lost my mom um, the year before. And so I kept thinking about this young lady, her daughter, who was visibly angry with me and, um, you know, mad, understandably mad that this was happening to her mother. Um, and it made me think about how just sad I feel being motherless. And so my anger kind of shifted from, she did this horrible thing to me to she put herself in a position to be away from her kids. She was sentenced to 15 years in the Illinois Department of Corrections. In the moment, I felt like, oh my gosh, okay, somebody's responsible for what happened to me. And, you know, there, there are repercussions for it. But I kept thinking like, what's gonna happen to her? What's gonna happen to her kids and her family? That experience has connected us in a way that I can't really explain. <laughs> I, I feel like I do forgive her. I, I'm, I'm not angry with her anymore, but forgiveness is a process and a journey. And so I do forgive, but I want to move forward with my life and I hope that she will too.